Singapore's headline inflation rose slightly to half a percent last month. However, core inflation, which excludes accommodation and private road transport costs, remained at 0.8 percent, the lowest in three years. Michelle Teo with the details. With food inflation at 1.6 percent on year in August, restaurant owners like Cecilia New are feeling the pinch. Um, suppliers may pass back the cost to us. Uh, we try to negotiate with suppliers on a long-term working relationship, but if the cost is uh, based on market rate and kind of thing, they will of course charge back to us. Uh, we work on selling products that have uh, lower cost of ingredients and then uh, to cover up those days on higher costs. Higher food prices have pushed headline inflation up to 0.5 percent from July's 0.4 percent, but retail goods such as clothing and footwear items saw declines. Economists say that a low inflation environment could prompt Singapore's central bank to ease monetary policy in October. The expectations for the MS policy to actually uh, ease further in October basically gives, could give market watchers a reason uh, to actually give uh, more inject uh, a weakening of the Sing dollar uh, ahead of this MAS policy meeting. What we have seen is that the Sing dollar would likely depreciate further to about 1.4 per USD at end year and could possibly weaken further into uh, the next year in 2020. Recent disruption in oil supply from Saudi Arabia have also pushed oil prices up, which could mean higher prices in Singapore. But analysts say the impact won't be felt in the short term. Saudi oil field attack has led to a short-term disruption in the oil market supply, um, and, but the country is fixing this issue very quickly. And so far, Saudi Arabia has not failed to deliver any crude oil uh, contracts to its customers because the country itself has a very large oil reserve. Uh, so um, it's not going to have a sustained impact on inflation. Singapore authorities expect global oil prices for the full year to average lower than the previous year. Official estimates for the full year core inflation are within the lower half of the 1-2% forecast range.